What's up? This is Tobin. And this is Jerry from Papa Roach, and you're watching All the Rage TV. Burn! Anytime you get reacquainted with uh, great fans, especially when you're in a, a smaller kind of intimate setting, like the club we played in last night was, you know, maybe 500 people, and to have the people, you know, like this far away from you, it was it was really cool. Um, looking forward to coming back for sure. I'm doing it bigger and better next time. Yeah. Can you talk about the recording of your last album, Time for Annihilation? The live part of it was done um, the end of 2009. Uh, we were on tour with uh, Shinedown, and we just recorded basically five shows and chose the best performances from for each song. The studio recording was done in New Jersey. Yeah, it was, it was cool. It was our first time working with David Bennett as a producer, and. Um, We had a great time working with him, and he did a hell of a job mixing the live record. Time for Annihilation? Well, it's, it's metaphorically speaking, it's what we intend to do when we get on stage, is just like, like annihilate the crowd like in a positive way. Um, just creating the energy and, and just, just intense vibe. Just cups and beer and, and just sweat and just spit and just intense rock and roll show. You know what I mean? That's the vibe we were going for. Do you have a ritual before to go on stage? We actually say, time for annihilation. And then we do our... Yeah. Our Brian John Jones warm-up. Yeah. Brian Johnson, sorry. Not Jones. We don't want to do that warm-up. <laughs> That's a warm-down. Uh, well, what's your best memory? We just played a show um, this past summer in uh, Poland uh, called Polish Woodstock. And it was 350,000 people. Going insane to P. Roach. It was pretty awesome. Uh, there, I mean, there was a there was a point in where we we kind of we got tired, we got burnt out, and um, we kind of just had to just call it quits for a minute and go home. And uh, it was kind of a bummer because I don't think any of us really knew if you know we had it in us to continue on, but obviously we did because we're here now. It's, we're even stronger now but uh, I think uh, when you go through moments like that it only makes you kind of just see uh, you know how great it is to, to be on stage and playing for people and playing music and so that's why we continue to do it with even more passion and intensity than we probably you know did at that moment in time what is the most strange gift you received from a fan Co uh, Madagascar cockroaches that were like seriously like humongous like that big in it and like there was like a dozen of them in a tank it started out as a dozen it started out as a dozen it was pretty really odd really weird yeah we get we get odd gifts all the time we would like to say that we apologize for waiting for so long um And thank you to everybody who st stuck by us, uh, even though we didn't come here. But we uh, will definitely come more often, hopefully every year. And we look forward to it. <laughs>